What is up, Tube? It's time to get back on that grind. Let's do this. Welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. I am back from vacation, guys. That's it. It's easy as that. You grind hard, you take a couple of days off, enjoy yourself, go sightseeing, do what you gotta do, clear your mind, clear your body, and then you come back and you grind hard, and you save up and you do it again. That's my, that's my, that's my thing, guys. Work hard, play hard. Work hard, go out and see the world. You know what I mean? But you gotta work hard. That's a start. If you don't work hard, then you can't go out and do things. You can't go out and enjoy yourself. You can't go see different places and and, and go enjoy yourself and be with your, your your significant other and have a good time. You have to work hard in the first spot. So today now we're back on this grind, guys. <coughs> I wanna reach out to everybody who uh, participated in our giveaway, our 6K giveaway. Frank the Barber, congratulations for winning the, the live giveaway. We tried to give it away, guys, uh, the normal way, but it didn't work out. A-Rod never claimed his prize, so we ended up having to do a live giveaway, which we did on Sunday when I got up to Williams after our little trip. We got up there, we did our live up there. It was so fun, dude. It was so much, so much nicer doing it that way. From now on, when I do giveaways, I'm gonna do them live because it's cool because everybody just shows up there. We had over, um, we almost, almost had 50 people on the live at one point, which for me, that's a lot. Never had that many people on a live before. So it was nice. Uh, congratulations to Frank. I hope you put it to use, buddy. I know that you're starting off in the barber business, so I know it'll come in handy. These tools will come in handy for you. Um, I'm gonna re be reaching out to you today and shipping those out to you. So you should be re probably re receiving them by the end of the uh, uh, by the beginning of the next week. Um, so I'll, I'll be doing that today. So I'm headed to the shop right now, guys. Not too booked today. Maybe pop. 40% booked, so we'll see. We'll just rely on walkings today, see what's up. It's me, Raul, and Dave. No, me, Raul, and Biz working today. Um, I want to thank Biz and Raul and 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 um, and Dave for holding it down while I was gone. You guys did a good job. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging in there for me. So, that's it, guys. I'm headed to the shop. I'm going to get started on this day. I hope you guys are up. Hope you guys are grinding. Hope you guys are going to have a good day. Let's get back into this, all right? It's work time. Not going to lie, guys. Four days off. Feels good to be back. Feels really good to be back. Let me get this place all opened up, I guess.
the bank right now, guys. Came back. Everything went smooth while I was gone. According to the boys, been pretty slow. Today's been pretty slow. Uh, me, myself, I've probably done like three cuts, and the guys have only done one each. So, and it's already going to be, it's already, it's already noon right now. So, it's super slow today. I don't know what's going on. So, it is what it is, guys. It's the way this business is. Sometimes it's booming, and sometimes you're just kind of sitting around. Uh, just trying to do my part like I always do guys you guys already know putting up ads make made a video this morning posted it already got it all through all the our yard sales right now while I was at the bank waiting I did a watch party um, so just different things and just trying to remind people that we are open for business and we are uh, accepting clientele right now so uh, right now I'm headed to the city of Azusa, my city, uh, city hall. I'm gonna go pay my 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 uh, my license for the year. So I'm gonna walk in there, and uh, I usually walk it in. I've I've been walking. You can't pay over the computer, but last few years I've always been walking in. And, uh, my last day to pay it is on uh, is on uh, Sunday. So I'm gonna go pay it right now. Today's probably today is actually the last day to pay it because if not by Monday it'll be late. So I don't know if they're holding everybody true to that right now because of the pandemic and everything, but I don't like to be late on stuff like that. You know, stuff that has to do with my business, like my rent and stuff like that, always take care of that first, guys, always. If you're gonna be a barber or shop owner, you have to take care of what feeds you. You know, what makes you money is what you have to take care of all the time because if you don't, you let that slide, what happens is, uh, you know, you'll start slacking. You know? Sometimes that happens, you know, it happens to me too. Happens to me, you know? Happens to everybody. But I'm gonna head to the shop right now. Finish this day off strong. Like I said, my boys held it down this weekend. Uh, I call it a weekend because it was my weekend, guys. I know I realize that it's during the week, but my weekend starts on Sundays usually, you know? If I, especially if I go away somewhere, it's always Sunday to, Sunday to Wednesday. Today's Thursday, today's my first day back. So, just an explanation of what, what I was talking about. But uh, I'm gonna head back to the shop, finish this day off strong, guys, and let's see what's up, all right? Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. The day is over. We got through it. Um, it ended up picking up a lot at the end. We ended up getting really, really busy. Um, we just started shuffling in at the end, so uh, the last fight, I lost three hours, so the boys re ended up re they, they ended up having a decent day, after all. Um, Sometimes that's the way it is in this barber business, you know, like, um, you just need a few hours of just grinding hard and it'll make up for the rest of the day. So it sucks when it's like that, though. I hate when it's busy like that. I, I'd rather it be busy, steady the whole day long, except just at the end of the day. Because overall, was it a great day? No, it wasn't a good day. For the barber shop, overall, no. It was a little slow. So we're still a little bit on the slow side here. Um, so we just got to, I, I got to do my part. I got to do my part to to keep posting ads and just, you know, getting more involved. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about. But I'm coming back off vacation, guys. You guys already know about going me. I go on my vacation. So when I go on a vacation, I come back. And, you know, it always slows down when I'm not here. It always does. It's always been like that. In 11, 12 years of being in this business here at this shop, my shop, whenever I jam, it just seems like uh, business doesn't doesn't run the same, you know. Like people just, I, I always let my people know that I'm gonna I'm gonna be gone. So so it's not like they're surprised and they show up and know I'm not here. So it just seems like business slows down a little bit, and then it starts picking back up. So we just gotta we gotta keep going, keep grinding, and that's what it's all about. Show up every day, do your part, you know. Go up and beyond your part. Don't just come in and just cut hair. That's it, you know. Once in a while, empty out your trash cans, sweep, you know. Wipe out your mirror. Go clean the restrooms. When was the last time you cleaned the restrooms at your shop? Just asking, when? When was the last time? Think about it, guys. Answer me below. You know, when was the last time you went in the restroom and saw the paper basket full of uh, 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 paper there and you just left it there? Like, why didn't you dump it? You know, when you're working somewhere, treat that shop like it's your own. If you treat like that shop, if you treat that shop like it's your own, then when, guess what? When you have your own shop, you're gonna do a good job. Because, you know what? That's one thing I always did. When I worked for somebody else, like all the shops that I worked at, I always treated every single shop like it was my own shop. I always got the key to that shop. I always try to run it like it was my own shop. Not like I'm running it like it's my thing, but I was running it like it's my own shop. I took care of it like it's my own shop. Protected it, 
and did everything I had to do. You know, whenever I had to pick up or sweep or do something or mop, not a problem. I'll do it. Shoot, I always did my part. And that's what you guys got to do. You guys got to do your part. Everybody, just because you're not the owner of that shop doesn't mean you can't help out. Remember that. Go up and beyond. If you treat somebody else shop decent or better, guess what? When you have your shop, you're going to treat it decent or better. If you don't treat that shop right now you're working at, like it's your own shop, then someday when you have your own shop, you're not going to know what to do. You know, think about it. It's training. This is a training in life. Training and becoming an owner. Becoming, you know, being significant in the game, you know. You don't want to work behind the chair the rest of your life. You want to, you know, become an owner. Become a, 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 a instructor or something. You know, there's so many things that you could do in this business. It's a good thing about this business. There's a lot of uh, places you could elevate yourself to. But I'm rambling on, guys. That's it for today. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching this video. Um, Franco Blends, I didn't send out your machines. I'm sorry, buddy. I got busy at the end. I'm going to try to get them out by today. If not, they'll be on their way by Tuesday. Trust me, they will be on their way. But, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching this channel. Big Al's Barbershop is here to help you get better at barbering. Not that I know everything, but I've been around for a while, guys. With that being said, that's it for tonight. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Guys, if you guys want to see what I did on my on my on my vacation, go to my other channel, Big Al and Lisa Marie Vlogs, and you guys can see the vlogs. I did three vlogs for the weekend. I think it is pretty cool. I got to do some badass drone shots. Drone shots while we were driving. Drone shots going through the through the um through the mountains. Oh dude, it's, seriously, it's some good, 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 good to good vlogs, I think. But if you guys go over there and shop, watch my vlogs, if you're going to watch my vlogs over there, make sure you guys subscribe, all right, guys? We need some subscribers. I only have $2.99 over there. I'm trying to build that up over there. So I need some of you guys to go over there and subscribe on that channel. Please do for me. Big Al and Lisa Marie Vlogs. I'm going to put it right here. All right, guys, with that being said, you guys have a great night, and I'll see you guys mañana.